Hey guys, this is Nick with CoopCritics.com, and welcome to part five of our Let's Play Boom Beach series. When we last left off, we were upgrading our headquarters to level four, and we had also upgraded our radar to level three. So this is the first time I've logged in since then, and I realize that I have been attacked quite a few times here. So why don't we take a look at some of these and see uh, see how this was happening. So this one was defended. This one we lost a village. The Black Guard invaded this village. Home base defended. Home base raided. Lost another village. Defended the home base again against level 8, level 7, level 8, level 8 level 8. So it looks like we're getting uh, getting beat up pretty bad here but I mean I guess that's to be expected when I'm only a level 6. But what I want to do is I want to go over and I want to look at upgrading some of our defenses. So mortar would take an hour to upgrade. That would only take 20 minutes. We might do that during this episode. And that sniper to level four would take an hour. I'm gonna upgrade this sniper to level three. And we'll let that upgrade in the background. Check these guys out. Reinforce that, reinforce this. Let's see what all we're gonna be able to build now that we've upgraded our headquarters as well. We can build a machine gun. It takes an hour to build. We can build three more mines. We can build a new landing craft and the armory. It's not gonna let me build this. Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and build us a new landing craft. I know our builders are busy. We'll speed that up. Build a new landing craft, and we'll get heavy in there. Just got a ton of gold from that. That's what happens when I don't log in in a while. I really need to upgrade my gold storage, it looks like. How much would it cost to upgrade my vault? An hour and a half. 25 minutes. Let's upgrade my gold storage. Sure we're not running out of that. I'm gonna go ahead and build some more mines. Okay. I'm wondering if it's best to have it laid out like this or if it would be better to use it as a corner base. If we were able to remove these. Build the base over in the corner. Let's try that. All right, so I've rearranged things. I'm not entirely sure if this is any better or worse than it was. Uh, I think it's quite pointless right now to worry about the arrangement as much as it would be to just worry about upgrading my defenses. But I'm gonna try this layout. Uh, I kind of tucked away everything into that corner and maybe this will provide a little bit more protection. Okay, so my troops are ready. I'm gonna head out and see if I can't reclaim some of these areas. Collect all the diamonds first. Okay, let's go back over here. Hmm, okay, so this is new. Hmm. I'm a little afraid. 
afraid to try to make my way through those. So what I'll do is I'll drop both of them over here. Oops, I accidentally dropped all three. May have not been the best strategy, but it seems to be working okay. I've lost one guy. Looks like that's all I'm gonna do is lose that one rifleman, so that wasn't bad. Could have been much worse. Since I only lost one guy, I'm not going to worry about going back and replenishing troops. So we got a machine gun over there, a mortar, and a sniper pretty spread out. between both of those. It's frustrating. I'm gonna take out the sniper. Probably should have sent the heavy in a little before. But he gets a little closer anyway, so that's good. So this will be my first time to actually use the the healing power that I've gotten since upgrading my headquarters. And I gotta say, that's pretty great. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'm gonna lose some. I lost three guys during that one. So now I do have to go back and get some more riflemen. Still 12 minutes on the gold storage, but as soon as that's done, actually, why don't we go ahead and finish that up? We'll spend the six diamonds, and I'm gonna build my armory. Well, yeah, let's let's start the armory, and then we can work. We can build the machine gun after that. And I guess I have to rearrange things after I get the machine gun in there too. Claim this reward. Upgraded gold storage to level two. Awesome. Ten diamonds for that. Cost me twenty to speed that up. That's done. I'll spend the two diamonds on this. And let's head back out. Oh no, these guys are going the wrong way. Alright, that was not a success. But I did get a challenge, or an achievement. So 
let's go claim that. Ten diamonds. Heavy there. Reinforce there. Reinforce there. I'll fast forward once those are done. Alright, so all our troops are ready now, so we're going to head back out. And it looks like I'm starting to see the tops of a resource base over here, so that's pretty cool. This region has a resource base. This region has a resource base. Suspicious activity reported in this area, or in this region. So I wonder if I explore. We found a resource base. Awesome. Take over this sector by destroying its headquarters and use it to produce building materials. Got 11 diamonds. So let's go attack this resource base. Okay, so it's just two machine guns. First I'm going to weaken... So I'm just going to go ahead and take it. Then I'll send these other guys in. Send the heavy in first. Awesome. So, we got our first resource base. So now that we've taken that over, I guess we can rearrange this. I don't know to you know how well we can actually do this or what you know what can actually be improved upon. We'll just do it like this. That was level three. That was level two. Is there a way to upgrade in your resource base? Hmm. Okay. Let's head out of here. So we own that resource base now. So that will produces 210 wood per hour, I guess. Free village, 27 gold per hour. Suspicious activity. I think I have to upgrade my radar one more time to be able to access that suspicious activity region. And the other resource bases, I'll need radar level four. But we can do this one. So let's explore here. Clean cut. So it's pretty straightforward. We've got lots of ammunition over here that we can utilize. As they blow up these buildings and collect energy, I'm just going to keep pummeling the rest of this stuff with artillery shells. Get them close enough to that mortar where hopefully the mortar can't shoot them well. They didn't really get it that close, but it worked out anyway. Alright, guys, I don't care about focusing on that barrel. Let's focus on the headquarters here. And we're done. 
and send in the heavy. Okay, that looks like that may be all we can we can do here without upgrading our radar. Why don't we go scout this guy? He's a level nine. See what he's got. I don't even know what that is. So he's got everything spread out pretty good. I'm trying to lure you away from it. I don't know if we're ready to attack him yet. I don't know if we're powerful enough. Oh, he's level 10 now. Let's look at this guy. Okay, so his all his stuff is pretty is packed pretty tightly. His headquarters is up front there, which is interesting. Seems like you could just make your way around the side over here. But again, I seriously doubt my guys are strong enough right now. Let's head back. So we've got over 30 minutes left on this uh, armory build. So this may be a good place to end. And when we come back in the next episode, we'll finish up the armory and upgrade our radar so that we can do a little more exploring and possibly get to that suspicious activity. All right, guys, if you're enjoying this series, please do us a favor and click that like button. And to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe. See you next time. Oh, oh my gosh, that was unbelievable.